recheck the cable connection, power cable, communication cable, antenna cable. Now power is off. Other one, power cable, antenna cable, communication cable. All okay. Now I have confirmed the deep switch position. I will perform the parameter setting later on. I put both deep switches in up position. Now I start plugging. Indicator is light. Run the software for EA20. There are two languages, Chinese and English. Select correct port. Command 3 is for EA20 here. Open port. Search address. Make sure it is was it is working. Read parameter. Those information can be changed depending on your need. Write parameter. Change the deep switches to control acquisition mode. Plug off. Close the software. E90. The most of steps are the same as E820. Every type of DTU have its exclusive debugging software. I prefer demonstrate the operation of E90 software. Choose the port. Open port. Get mid get parameter. Notice new if you want to change the information here, you have to match the last one. That parameter. Change the deep switch mode. Close the software. Plug off. Now I will carry control statutes. We should keep deep switch in the same position. M0 and M1, both are position. E90 can control the output for E820. For example, I intend to control E820 first output port to output 10 milliamp. How to carry out? Let's do some job. Clear. Delete. Write new command. Make sure everything is working. Send. It succeed. Here is transmission time. This is idea. Now I will use multimeter to measure the value of E820 first output port. Take care of the polarity. I will choose 200 milliamp range. The value is 9.9, .9, almost 10 milliamp. What about 18 milliamp? Send. It's same. I will measure again.
exactly 18 milliamps thank you for watching